Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reset your wireless all-in-one alarm system, wireless all-in-one alarm panel. Uh, so there are two types of resets for any alarm system. Uh, there's a power cycle reset, which basically means rebooting the system, turning it off, and then turning it back on. And then there's also a factory reset, a factory default. And that's a little bit more of an extreme reset where it's going to wipe out all the settings, all your programming information. You're going to have to start with the system from scratch. Um, but uh, the main reason why you would be power cycling your system, uh, you, maybe you have to install some new hardware and you need to power it down. There could be something wrong with your system and you just need to give it a little reboot, much like you might do on your phone or your computer if it's not working properly. So you just give it a quick little power cycle and there you go. Um, and as far as a factory default, the, like I said, the more extreme type of reset, you might do that if, um, it, like if, if the problem is not being fixed, um, if, if it's a last resort troubleshooting step. That might be a case. Um, or if you just want to start with the system fresh with factory default settings, then you would go ahead and do that. Um, so for a wireless system, um, sometimes there's a menu option where you can do a power cycle, where you can select an option and it will power cycle the system. But uh, as a traditional way, um, any system is going to allow you to do a power cycle by cutting power and then restoring it. So I'm going to show you that method first, and then I'm going to show you um, a power cycling process. And then I'll also show you a factory defaulting process. Um, so we're going to explore three different things today. But we're going to start on our GC3E right here behind me here. Um, I'm going to show you the, the manual power cycle on that by manually cutting power and then restoring it. And then we'll look at the IQ2 a little bit later. But um, we'll do that when we get to it. So let's start with our, um, our GC3E system right here. So I'm going to cut power um, to it by um, cutting AC power and battery power. So I have to open up the panel. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it and just kind of just get it off the wall here. Let's see if we can get it. Um, no, we don't, we don't want an emergency trigger here. Let's see if we can get it here. There we go, <laughs> just like that. Came off. <laughs> so we got it off the, off the wall here. And you see we have um, AC power coming in from, um, this is a Honeywell LT cable here. And we can just go and uh, disconnect that. So unplug that and we're going to pull it down so it doesn't come loose, doesn't go away on us here. And we're going to also cut battery power by um, undoing the battery connection here. And then we're going to see that the system is completely powered down. Um, it has no power to it, so it is not receiving power. So to complete the power cycle, we have to restore power to the system. So with, with a wireless system, what we want to do is we want to restore battery power first. So we're just going to plug that back in. You see it's back into the port. And that's not going to power on the system. The system won't power on, on battery power alone. We need to restore AC power. So we're going to take our LT cable, and we're just going to uh, reconnect it here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. And then let's hopefully get this back onto the, the wall here. This, there, we, there we go. It's pretty secure. <laughs> we'll make sure it's good later. But um, th this system is powering back on once we restore AC power. And if you uh, cut AC power in a different way, maybe you unplugged a transformer from the wall outlet. Um, then plug that back in, or maybe you cut power at the circuit breaker, um, so you could restore power at the circuit breaker. Um, however, you cut AC power, just go and restore it. But you do want to do battery first. With a wireless panel, you do the battery first, and then AC power second when powering on. Um, and that pretty much works for any wireless system. Um, you know, you can cut power and then restore it. But uh, like I was saying, some panels do allow you to um, do a menu option for a, a panel reboot, for a power cycle reset. Um, so I'm going to show you that on the IQ2, which is a really easy panel to do uh, a reboot on. So um, we're at the main screen of our IQ Panel 2 Plus. I'm going to click the small gray bar at the top, and I'm going to choose Settings, and I'm going to choose Advanced Settings. And then um, I'm going to enter in our installer code here, 1111. And then you see we have an option for Panel Reboot right there. I'm going to click that, and it's going to ask us if I want to reboot. I'm going to choose OK. And you see it's uh, doing the shutdown process, and we're going to do the reboot. Um, so we're going to wait for that. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to explain a little bit about um, a factory reset, um, the most extreme type of reset that you can do. It's going to clear all the settings. Uh, this is going to differ depending on the system you are using. I'm going to show you it on the IQ2 here, just because it's an easy one that I remember how to get to. <laughs> and, um, but if you are doing it on a different system, then you will want to refer to the manual for that system on how to do the factory reset. And you might want to look at what, um, what exactly that entails, because it's going to 
reset pretty much all the settings. There, there can be some exceptions, but um, it will depend on the panel you are using. Really, like I said, just really depends on the panel. Um, and there are all sorts of different factory resetting processes. Some of them involve powering down the system and holding down a button while the system is being powered back on. Some panels will have the menu option. It's really going to change depending on the system. So uh, you see we are waiting for our IQ2 to um, um, get, it, get going. So we'll, we'll wait a brief moment for it to come back up. So we got our IQ2 to come up. So now I'm going to show you the factory default process, the factory resetting process. So what we're going to do, we're going to start from the main screen of our IQ Panel 2 Plus. We're going to hit the small gray bar at the top. We're going to choose Settings. We're going to choose Advanced Settings. And then we're not going to use our master code. We're not going to use our installer code. We're going to use our dealer code, which is the highest authority code on the IQ Panel 2 Plus. And that default code is 2222. And then we're going to choose Installation and then dealer settings. And then we're going to scroll down quite a ways. And we're going to see master reset, um, erase all content and settings and restore to factory defaults. And we're going to hit that. And it's going to reboot and reset all installed applications. So let's go for it. And now our IQ Panel 2 Plus is going to do its factory reset. And that's going to take a few minutes, so we're not going to worry about that. But that is how you would uh, factory default the IQ2+. Plus. Um, a different panel is going to have a different factory resetting process, so refer to the manual for uh, your system if you want to do a factory default. And remember to only do that in extreme situations, because you will have to reprogram the system entirely, including all the zones. And depending on your system setup, that could take a while. So that is uh, how you reset your uh, wireless alarm system. There's a power cycle reset, and then there's a factory reset. So. If you have any questions about alarm systems or about alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.